Hey guys, it's Spell Productions, and welcome to episode 9 of the Pokemon Zeta, the Nuzlocke Challenge. In the last episode, we started off this route, and in this episode, we are going to, you know, finish off this route here, because we're going to face a lot more fishermen, and we get a little prize at the end, and I want to see what that is. We got quite a bit uh, ways through here, so let's just... So let's just finish all these guys off. So it looks like we got another fisherman, Fisherman Vajri. And he's gonna have a Feebass level 16. Alright, go Billy! All right, let's see if we can get ourselves up to level 23 this episode so we can get Breloom. Because now we can finally get Billy to be useful. I mean, Billy is useful, but I mean, he'd be a lot more useful if we definitely, you know, get him to level up here. Because he turns into a fighting type and it makes it a lot better. So let's see, let's just, yeah, take down the Feebas. But yeah, off screen I did heal up my Pokemon by three Super Potions, five Antidotes, and five Paralyzed Heals. Just so I am a little bit prepared for what's coming soon, so, yeah. Anyway, we defeat Vaudry. We're the same exact, well, you know. Do you want a good ride? Then beat me and then go talk to the fishermen on the top of this route. Yes, that's our prize if we beat all these fishermen. So here's Kearney. And he has a Feebass. Go, Billy. Mega Drain to the face. And wow, we did quite a bit of damage there. And hopefully we outspeed. No, we don't. It's all right, though. And we'll just take it down with a headbutt. Hopefully we can get to level 23. I don't think we will with this Pokemon, but I'm sure we will the next one. Uh, maybe not. If another Feebass, another 138 experience points, not 100% sure. No, let's check it. I want to see how close we are. Nope, we're not. Okay, we're just going to have to take it down. So, yes. Almost there. And attack all away. That's great. Critical hit. Wow, I'm so threatened right now. And, all right, we're almost there. And I think we'll be able to evolve with this guy. I'm the greatest fisherman in the world, and I'm going to destroy you. That is great. I'm proud that you're very confident in yourself, but you're a little bit braggy, so I'm going to have to beat you. Let's go, Billy. Yeah, let's go for a Mega Drain. That should be good enough. Yeah, we'll be good. Water gun. It's not going to do much. And it heals us right back up, which is nice. And we are going to evolve at the end of this battle, of course. So, Billy's going to get to level 23. And now it's time for Finneon once again. You know what? Let's switch out here. If he actually evolves to level, 23, uh, level 24 instead of 23, I'm going to be a little upset, but whatever. But I'm pretty positive it's 23. Because Sumo King evolves at level 24. So, that's why I assume it's level 23. And, oh! Dang it! Mobilized by love. Ugh. Should've went for the fake out. Now, Sumo King... He just, just gets attracted to whatever he can get. So, yeah. I'm sorry, man, but you're just... You're not a very attractive looking Pokemon. So let's see. No, all right, we're immobilized by love. But, you know, like I said in the last episode, Billy, he's a lady killer. I mean, that's just how he is. Well, let's see. Um, Rain Dance, great. Let me hit you. Okay, that's like the fifth time in the row. I'm gonna have to switch out into Billy. No, let's go to a female. Let's go to Wormy. Wormy can definitely handle this thing. Well, if it doesn't, I may be upset, but I think it will. Pound. I did absolutely nothing. Uh, yeah, let's go for acid here. And yeah, you can't attract me, so ha! So, water gun, that's great for you, but I'm just gonna, you know, keep doing acid, because it seems to be what's working. And all right, critical hit. Nope, but the rain stops, so water girl will do a little less damage. And we outspeed. So that means that probably Finian has Swift Swim. So, all right, there goes Patterson or Peterson. 
And come on, evolution time! Yes! Billy is evolving! Do, 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 do. Charge! We got ourselves a Breloom! And it's trying to learn Mach Punch. Alright, let's see what we can get rid of here. Um, I would keep Headbutt because it's more of a physical attacker than a special. Uh, I don't... I mean, Leech Seed is helpful, but Stun Spore is a little more helpful. So, we'll stick with that. Plus, we have Leftovers. So, yes. Billy has evolved. Wow, look at that attack. Look at Rog and Roll's attack and that attack. That's just... That's crazy. And plus, they're both Adam in nature. One I did change, but still. Look, just compare it. I mean, I know that Boulder's in its first stage, but, oh, man, this Billy just kicks butt once it evolves. So let's just, uh, isn't there one more fisherman? I don't remember. Oh, yeah, there is. Actually, there's two more. All right, well, let's use Sumo King. You caught three whole Magikarp at the first, at just at one time. That is just, I'm going to call you King Fisherman, all right? Because I'm sure no one else could do that. I'm proud of this guy. This guy should get a ribbon. All right, so let's go for a Brick Break here. Okay, it's going to go for Lock On, but it won't be able to lock on anything on me because guess what? Ha ha. One hit KO. Now it's time for a Remoraid. Another one. So. Psybeam. Ooh, I did not know that had that. Oh my goodness, that did a lot of damage. But we took it out in one hit with a Brick Break. So, that's good enough. We defeat Han. Is it Prince Han from the Southern Isles? No, oh, jeez. Alright. We're right, just going to use up our potions here. Eh, yeah, that's good. I think we have one more fisherman. Yeah, this guy's fishing skills will blow your mind. And let's see, he has a Magikarp. I'm telling you, the best fishermen in the world have probably caught a Magikarp before. Because, I mean, they're so rare. I mean, you have, to, you have to be so good like I am to definitely get Magikarp every time when I use the old rod. I mean, if you if you get anything else, I feel bad for you, because Magikarp is just way too it's just so much better. So look like here's another Magikarp. I think that we're gonna have ah uh, well Stallion can uh, I know I I know Stallion can handle it, but I'm gonna use Hydra. Yeah, let's go, Hydra. Magikarp. Let's see, let's go for an acid. Wow. It, it did so much damage, it looked like it did nothing after leftovers. That's how great Magikarp is. And there we go, we defeat Bolina. And that is it for all the fishers of the same exact line. That's great. Yeah, here's this guy. Come on, come on, the fisherman's challenge. Amazing deal. Hey, wow, you did the challenge. Want to exchange it for a good rod? Yes, I do. Yes. Now we're on to the next route, 307. And we're gonna see what our encounter is, because there's quite a few good Pokemon here. Let's see. Huh, a Deerling. I didn't know those were here. All right, well, I guess we're gonna have to catch it. I don't know, I've never used a Deerling before. It's quite interesting if you think about it. And I really have nothing to weaken it with, so we'll just throw a Great Ball at it. Right now. And it's a girl! And I don't remember if Bambi's a boy or a girl, because I haven't seen that in forever. <laughs> but we'll name it Bambi. Yeah, it's a season Pokemon, two foot tall, 43 pounds. The turning of the seasons changes the color and scent of the Pokemon's fur. People use it to mark the seasons. It's kind of odd, but yes, we'll name it Bambi. Let's 
All right, so it looks like we have an electrician right here. You know, it is raining outside, so that could be a problem with Stallion, but I think Stallion can handle it. This goes here, and this goes... Ah! What's the what's my engineering degree go good if I just can't build things with it? That is true. Very true indeed. So here's uh, Sebastian with his Magnemite at level 18. And I hate rain so much. In Pokemon games, because guess what? It just completely ruins Fire-type Pokemon, and now I'm paralyzed. Great. Magnet Bomb, which shouldn't do much damage, and it doesn't. Paralysis Axe. Excellent. Alright, Thundershock away. Oh my goodness, that was a critical hit. That was not cool. Not cool at all. 400 experience points, Stallions up to level 21. Try to learn Flame Charge. Alright. Let's see, let's... Ah... Uh, Ember... I really need to get rid of that. Just because it's not that strong anymore. So now it's time for Clink. Ah, uh, I would keep it in, but... Uh, let's send out Billy. Let's try out the new Mach Punch. Even though he is already level 23. Whatever. I want to try out the new Mach Punch we just got. So let's see. Mach Punch away. One hit KO. Way to go, Billy. No, I'm a powerful Pokemon. They're not powerful. What are you talking about? It's a Magnemite and a Clink. It's alright. He's blinded. He knows my Pokemon are better. He's just trying to make his look good. It's just a common thing, you know? <laughs> alright. Let's, um... Let's put Boulder up top. And let's head through. You know what? Let's put a Repel up if we have Repels. Yes, we do. We have eight Repels. All right, that's good. Let's just use these, and that'll be all good. Just to get through here without any wild Pokemon. Oh, a bug guy. Yes. I have the best Pokemon in the entire world. Let me guess. Caterpie and Weedle. It's probably a Beedrill or something. Oh, Lady Buff. Okay, that's like... Okay, as what Chugga Conroy would say is the suckiest sucked ever sucked. Just saying. But it's all right. And it has Reflect. Dang it. No, and then we miss right here, too. Ah. And Safeguard, just excellent. Rock Blast. Wow, it still did a lot for having to reflect up. Alright, let's see. Beedrill. Oh, I kind of got that right. Beedrill. But it is level 19, so, yeah, there wouldn't be any more Weedles. Oh, Focus Energy. That's not cool. But Rock Blast should handle it. Oh, dumb reflect. Come on, five, give me, dang it. All right, well, let's just do another rock blast then. Twin needle. Huh. What? I got poisoned? It's not fair. <laughs> not fair at all. All right, well, gonna have to switch. Now it's time for Scyther. Ooh, I do not like that at all. What am I going to use? I guess Stallion. That's our only hope. Because Boulder can't quite do anything when he's kind of poisoned, so... Scyther. Plus with that Reflect Up, that's not very cool. Um, Let's try to flinch it. False Swipe. And the Reflect faded. Okay, good. So now we're not double whammied. So, Flame Wheel should do at least something. Yeah, it does. Alright. Agility, you're so cool to outspeed me. You're just gonna go for a False Swipe, which can't even take me down anyways. So, I'll just take it. Oh, Focus Energy. You just gave up right there. He knew that I'm the best. I'm the very best like no one ever was. He knows that I can catch all the great Pokemon in the world. So, yeah. Catch them is my real test. So, let's see. Uh, antidote on Boulder. And let's put... Yeah, let's put Wormy up top. So that's good. Oh, we got an Ace Trainer here. Good heavens, look at the time! 
All right, here we go. Here is cool trainer Max, and he has a purloin. I didn't know that purloin stand up like that. <laughs> that looks kind of dumb. <laughs> I never was a fan of purloin, but that's actually kind of hilarious. All right. So let's just, yeah, acid away. Pursue. He was trying to pursue trap me there. I was not gonna switch out. Are you kidding me? All right, sand attack. That's cool. Good for you. And okay, we missed. Great. And now it's just doing this. This is just like, this is. I just hate this. <laughs> Acid, take it down. Thank you. Now it's time for Pikachu. I can't do Pikachu, I'm sorry. But let's see. Uh, let's keep Wormy in. If he gets into trouble, we could always switch him out. Let's see. Uh, yeah, let's go for an Acid. No! Okay, come on. Okay, Acid. Electro Ball. Ouch! Alright, well... Acid- Oh my gosh, Tail Whoop, that is still not cool. Leftovers is bringing us back up, that's very nice of that. And now Quick Attack, that didn't do too much. And we're not getting any Paralysis Hacks, but we're gonna start missing due to those accuracy drops. So, that's not cool. Acid, we missed, that's Great. Thanks a lot, game. I appreciate it so much. Oh, gosh, crit. But we did take down... What? Okay, I think we can handle one more quick attack. No crits. Okay, good. That's good. Way to go, worry. So, let's see. Burmy. Uh, what should I send out? Let's send out Stallion. Go, Stallion! And the rain continues to fall, but I really don't care, because I'm just going to go for a flame wheel. Ha ha! Take that! Oh, it lived. And it has Bug Bite. Huh. Critical hit. Not too worried about that. And the leftovers restored in HP just a little bit. And Flame Charge to take that down. There we go. And our speed rose, even though we don't need it, because the battle's already over. So there goes Max. I was distracted, that's all. Yeah, you were distracted, alright, by my amazing, amazing Ponyta. And you know what? I just won't heal up for me. Just because, yeah, we're gonna switch into something else, anyways. So let's go to Sumo King. Actually, no. Let's take advantage of the rain, and we'll put Hydra up top. Because we still have a few battles left. And we got this guy! Feel the wrath of my fighting Pokemon- Oh, I know this guy, this guy! He has like a level 8 Tyroke, I remember this guy. Yeah, he's like, oh, feel my wrath, and he has a level 8 Tyroke. Oh, level 9, okay, whatever. Bubble beam away, fake out, fine. Just annoy me like that, I don't care. Poison point, aha! But if it has guts, that's not good. But once it, yet again, it's level, tw we're 12 levels higher than it, so. Bubble beam to the face, that should take down the Tyro, get one hit. All right. Impossible. And we'll get some Oran Berries here. Which I should equip to my Pokemon, I haven't used them yet. And another electrician, I don't like that. I think this video will go a little longer, because we're almost to, to a certain cutscene. And I want to end it off right there, so... Yeah, I think there's one more trainer left. No, there's two, I think. I love momentum, I love the engineer, I love this bakery, I love the blogosphere. Alright, here we go. Engineer Raymond, and he's going to send out Magnemite. Uh, crap, those those things have magnet bombs. So, let's switch out into Billy. Because Billy can handle it. Yeah, magnet bomb. So, let's go for Mach Punch. 
take it down in one hit because Billy has so much attack. Let's see, a clink. Let's go out to Sumo King. Because Sumo King needs some experience. Alright. Uh, let's go for a Brick Break. That should take it down in one hit, I would think. Yes, it does! Good job, Sumo King. Let's see what his other Pokemon is. Porygon. I don't remember this. I don't remember facing a Porygon over here. Uh-oh. What if this thing has, like, a hidden power flying or something? Psybeam! Ah! Dang it! Sumo King's down! I did not see that coming! Oh! That was not good. Oh! That was not good at all. We just lost our first Pokemon. Oh, man. Now let's go for Sharpen. Although it really didn't help that it had that download which boosted its special attack. It should have never taken down my Sumo King. Good, we got a burn. Fine, raise your attack as much as you want, because you just got burned, son. Critical hit. Just do it. Dang it, Psybeam. That's gonna hurt! Oh. Took that pretty well. Alright. Oh, man. So there goes Raymond. You jerk! Kill my Sumo King. Repel wore off. Yes, I want to use another repel. Just because, yeah, I don't want to waste any more time. It looks like we got ourselves another trainer here. Ranger leader commanded me to battle whoever I look at. You're up! Alright, Ranger Merrick. And he has a Shellos. Oh, no! Because of the rain. This is bad. Let's switch to Billy. That's the only thing that can counter this thing. Go, Billy! Oh, Water Pulse. Don't like that. Good thing I switched. So, let's see. Mega Drain. This is about half. And I think a Mach Punch could take it down from there. Mud Bomb could lower my accuracy. And it doesn't. And let's Mach Punch away and that should take it down. Because we have quite a bit of attack. And yeah, there we go. Let's see. A Burmy. I really don't want to deal with a Burmy right now. Well, let's go to Hydra, so we can take advantage of that nice water boost. Alright, because it is just a plain bug type. Let's go for all beam, it should do neutral damage and take it down. There we go, way to go Hydra. Now it's time for Pikachu. Um, Billy? Sure. We'll go with Billy. So I was going to send out a Pikachu, and we'll just go for a Mach Punch, and that should be enough. Because Pikachu is very frail, and Billy has a lot of attack, so it should take it down. Look at that! Way to go, Billy! And no static, which is nice. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! So are we there? Yeah, we are. And there's one more trainer down here. Wow, you're really tall! I'm not really that tall. Whatever. Here's last Aiden. She has a Pichu. Oh man, watch if he has a volt, ta uh, uh, volt tackle. That is not good. All right, well, let's just go for rock blast, thunder wave. Urgh! I do not like that. Okay, rock blast. Oh man, right there. That's how you do it. Way to go, Boulder. Hopefully, he gets to level 22. No, you don't. Oh yeah, you do. All right, just barely. No. I know we're 25 minutes into the video, but I think we should say goodbye to Sumo King before we go. So let's hurry out of here before my repel wears off. Okay, cool. No, I don't want to use repel. Okay, just get out of the grass. There we go. How do I get it? How am I gonna escape? All right, there we go. Yeah, we just say goodbye to Sumo King because he got screwed by a Porygon. So let's head back. Almost there. But yeah, in two episodes we faced all those trainers. It's crazy. Alright, welcome to Fianga City. Now, let's see, I want to um, actually show off what happens if you have a Pokemon that dies in your party and you're trying to heal it up. I wonder if it does something different. This is my first time doing a Nuzlocke. So, let's see. 
Yep, it stayed dead. So, yep. That, I guess, yep, that, that was in the, um, in the code, so. Let's see, we have a dead box. No, we don't. Let's change this to dead. With capital letters. And put away Sumo King. Alright. And I'm going to take the item off him. And I guess we're going to have to pull out... Let's see, who should we do? Rotom Wash? Or Bambi? That's what I'm feeling like I, I need right now. Although Morphic could be quite useful. Although it's a bold nature. Actually, it's not bad because this is a special attacker. And it has more defense. I kind of like that if you think... Like, just I think about it. And 29 speed IVs, that's pretty nice. Thundershock, Confuser, Uproar, Hydro, Pump. Yeah, I'm going to have to do quite a bit of training, though, versus Bambi. Okay, it's still about the same. Uh, or Drake and Josh in. I don't think I need another Rock type on my team. I think I don't need another Grass type on my team, but I sort of need an Electric type, don't I? Yeah, for Flying type, since I don't have anything other than Boulder. So, I guess I may go with Morphic and I'll have to train him off screen. So you, know, so you know what that means! Experience share time! But yeah, that's it for Sumo King. First death. Hey, it happens. But yeah, in the next episode, we'll be back at where we left off before we jumped off that one ledge. So, if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, check people inbox, and see you guys next time for some more Pokemon Z of the Nuzlocke Challenge.